This is Kelso Sturgeon. Welcome to another day at my College of Advanced Sports Handicapping. Uh, the news is all good. We'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, this report is for Thursday and Friday. I'll be back here with my uh, next report with complete coverage of Saturday college football, back on Sunday with complete NFL play, and then uh, back on Monday with the summary and then a rundown on the uh, Monday night game. Uh, as I said, all the news is good. I'm on a 23-4 and four run in college and NFL football over the past seven days. A perfect 6-0 in uh, 100 unit games, 75 unit games, and 50 unit games, winning two uh, uh, each that are ranked in, in those two particular uh, categories. Uh, the winning be uh, continues again tonight, uh, taking a uh, 50 unit play on the Thursday night game that finds the Oakland Raiders at the San Diego Chargers, also releasing a 10-unit college play. So once again tonight, a 50-unit uh, play on the Thursday night game between the Oakland Raiders and San Diego, and then a 10-unit play, a best bet play in the colleges. Friday night, it's all about basketball. On Friday night, I'm releasing my first 50-unit game of the uh, uh, college basketball season, plus a free play on the Michigan State-North Carolina game that will be televised nationally uh, and a 3-0 and a night in college basketball for the record a 2-0 and in uh, college basketball last night uh, winning with two underdogs, getting the cover with Lehigh at St. John's and then winning straight up with uh, uh, the uh, with Akron uh, in its win over uh, Mississippi State you know you can get the entire college basketball season right now for the early bird price of $229. Sign up today. Start winning uh, on Friday night. Once again on Friday night, the first 50-unit basketball play of the season. Looking for an absolute blowout win in that one. Then on Saturday, uh, big day Saturday, one of the biggest days of the season, uh, releasing unexpectedly a 200-unit uh, college uh, blowout play. Uh, my 100-unit uh, uh, college underdog uh, game of the year and then another 75-unit uh, Syndicate Club play. Uh, the Syndicate Club going for its uh, third consecutive 75-unit win. Then on Sunday, and by the way, I'm 9-1 and one with my last 10 uh, NFL uh, releases on Sunday, uh, releasing my 100-unit uh, NFC Game of the Year, and the Syndicate Club will go for another 75-unit winner uh, on that day. You know, uh, you know, last week uh, has been tremendous. As I said, 23-4 and four, uh, in college and NFL football won every single big game play that I released, uh, and I do believe the winning will continue. You know, it's, it's nice when people say, wow, you're really in a groove, or man, you're in the zone and you're winning, it's wonderful. I admit all that, but the truth of the matter is, uh, winning is not an accident. It's the result of uh, knowing what you're doing and then doing it and sticking with a formula that you know is proven and uh, which works. And I have that formula. You know, I'd like to just uh, uh, run down a little bit uh, of uh, the thoughts behind uh, these uh, big plays that won this past weekend. You know, uh, in, in, the, uh, in two games, both in the NFL, the Chicago Bears at the uh, uh, Philadelphia Eagles on uh, Monday night and the New York Giants, uh, at the uh, New England Patriots on Sunday, the lines were just ridiculously high on the Eng on New England and on Philadelphia. There's no way in the world uh, that the uh, Patriots should have been a nine-point favorite uh, over uh, the uh, uh, the New York Giants. The Giants are playing excellent football. Consistency uh, every single game they're playing in. Uh, the New England Patriots had the worst defense in the NFL, 32nd and last. And they're laying nine points to the New York Giants. No thank you. I took the nine there and won a 25-unit side and total uh, parlay. Uh, as for the Chicago Bears, another team playing uh, a standout uh, football. Here we are, uh, uh, an eight-point underdog in, uh, against the Philadelphia team that's been up and down all season. I guess that the bookmakers felt that the public would be betting uh, Philadelphia off the board because of that standout win over the uh, 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 Dallas Cowboys the week before and that they needed an offer a big number on Chicago to uh, uh, you know to get the job done. That doesn't mean anything to me. A team is what it is. 
and the Bears were about a three, a legitimate three-point underdog in that game. Uh, you got them at a plus eight, which was outstanding, and uh, once again uh, wins. Now, uh, it's a uh, note that four of the uh, 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 nine uh, big game winners I had uh, in the NFL this week, uh, four of them were underdogs that won outright, in a combination of factors. Uh, but, you know, I use a formula in handicapping uh, football that absolutely just does it all and tells it all. Uh, and I've been using it for five years, and the first year I used it, it, uh, it won uh, for betters, uh, uh, or, or betters who were wagering at the 100 unit level, it won $218,000. For those people it, during the first football season, it has not equaled uh, that number in the uh, in the uh, four seasons that have followed. But it's on track to do better than that uh, this season. It's won in smashing fashion every week, do, uh, every year. Don't misunderstand me. But I use a formula that works, and it's all about talent. You know, talent wins football games, uh, and uh, especially in the colleges. In the NFL, everybody has talent, even the bad teams. But in the colleges. Uh, I, I won four, uh, four, five of my games last week uh, on the basis of talent alone, and I break talent down into five categories. I, when I compare teams, here's what I do, and I re I've said this before, and I guarantee you it's gospel. You need to listen to it because this will pick you winners. When you uh, zero in on a game and you really want to bet on that game, uh, uh, you, you look at both teams and you grade them in this, in this manner. Compare their talent level. I mean, how many blue chip players uh, does each team have on offense and defense and through its depth? Then you look at the skill players uh, and which team has the most, uh, uh, the most uh, uh, blue chip skill players. Uh, and that team has an edge, obviously. And then you look at the game breaking players. Which team has the most game breakers? If one has two and the other has one, the team with the two game breakers has the edge. Then you look at the offensive line, its experience and its depth and its quality. Uh, and last but and by the way, and there's a big edge to the team with the best offensive line. Last but not least, uh, which team has the better defense and the ability uh, to go into lockdown form uh, when the game is on the line? Now remember this. Compare these factors. Which team uh, uh, has the most blue chip talent? Uh, which team uh, uh, has the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, better skill players? Which team has the uh, uh, larger number of game breakers? And by the way, there's some games you're going to see where one team has three game breakers, the other team has none. Which team has the uh, most experienced and uh, blue chip offensive line? And which team has a defense that... Uh, uh, can uh, that is good and can perform in lockdown fashion when it has to. There, every single uh, uh, big game winner, 50, 75, and 100 units this past weekend, in all of those games, every single team uh, that I released was 5-0 and oh in those uh, particular categories. It had the edge in all five. They all won, uh, most of them in blowout fashion. Remember these things because these are the things that produce winners. Last but not least, this is a giant, giant weekend uh, in uh, college football and, uh, and in the NFL and uh, in college basketball. Uh, once again, let me run it down. A 50-unit play in the NFL tonight, the Oakland at uh, San Diego game. Tomorrow night, Friday, my first 50-unit basketball release of the season on Saturday, uh, 200 and 100 unit plays in the NFL on Sunday, another 100 unit uh, uh, game of the year winner, my F is F NFC game of the year. I intend to kick, take down all the cash again this weekend. All these games will be available on this website or toll free at 1-800-755-2255. I accept all major credit cards. The price is right for every single release. Uh, get on board, get all the cash. I continue, I intend to continue to win and keep in mind 23 and 4 uh, over the past seven days and I am going to keep right on rolling. Get on board and get the money with me. Thank you for watching. Please come back on Saturday morning when I'll have my college report.